it's Lisa with InkandInspirations.com. Thank you for joining me. In this video, we're going to be making this little Easter treat box using the little bunny from the Life in the Forest set that's in the Occasions catalog from Stampin' Up! So let's get started. I have a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock cut at three and three quarter by seven and a half. And I've got my Simply Score scoring tool and going to do a few scores on this long side. The first one at three quarters of an inch, and then three and a half, four and one quarter, and seven. Then I'm just going to turn it around and do a three quarter inch score on one of these sides. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to fold on all these score lines. Get my bone folder. This little box is just the right size to put like maybe the treat size candy bars or little packages like M&Ms or Skittles. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to cut off this smallest rectangle here, the one formed by the three quarter inch uh, scoring lines. And so let me just cut that off. And then we're going to cut up on all of these other scores. Okay, and so you can use sticky strip to adhere this together, but I think I'm just going to use a little Tombow and hold it in place. Once this dries, this is an excellent adhesive too. Uh, sticky strip just a um, provides a quicker stick. You know, you don't have to sit here and hold it for just a few seconds. But we don't mind doing that, so I'm going to do that. And then, as we're looking at this, the seam is here, so we're going to call that the back of our box. And so we'll fold these two sides in first, and then the back. And then I'm going to bring this one, that'll be the front here, and we'll put adhesive on that last tab. Okay, so let's um, go ahead and embellish the front. And hold that just a second. I have a piece of this designer series paper. I think it's the geometrical. I'll have to, I'll have it on the screen. And uh, it is cut at two and a half by two and three quarter. So that's going to cover the front of the little box and whoops, and leave um, about a quarter inch all the way around. Let's see, I want to do this. Okay, now for our image, I'm going to take just a piece of Whisper White cardstock and Jet Black stays on, and I'm going to ink up this little bunny. He's kind of a funny bunny. Cute. And then I'm going to punch them out with my one and a quarter inch circle punch, my old style punch. And then I'm going to take a pink pirouette and Bermuda Bay marker and just add a little bit of colored accents. I'm going to pull this up here so you can see a little better. Okay, I'm going to do his ears just real quick, just to give him a little bit of color. I think I'm going to do his tail too. All right, and then I'm going to give him some Bermuda Bay eyes. Ooh. And then I've already punched a one and three eighths inch circle punch, and I'm going to layer him up on top of that. And then he's going to go on the front of the box here. And if you wanted to, you could add a Happy Easter sentiment. I'm just going to leave mine plain. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my Stampin' Pierce mat and a, my paper piercing tool, and I'm going to put a hole in each side of the box. And then I'm going to take some craft wire, 
You can find this most anywhere. This that I have was Stampin' Up! sold it years ago, so I still had some in my stash. It's about 8 or 10 inches long, and then I take it and I just curl it around my finger a couple of times to give it that little fun top. And then we're going to put it in. Oh, my bunny's moving. Put it in on the side here. And this, you wouldn't want to uh, give this to small children without a protection. So if you were doing this I, for little kids, I would wrap the end of this wire in um, tape or something, clear tape, to keep them safe from this sharp edge here, okay? I like to bend mine down a little bit. I'll probably do that with this tool, let's see. And then come on the other side, push it through, bend it up, wrap it a little bit. And if you come up far enough, let me see if I can do this side the right way. I'm going to turn it down so it's not sticking up and it's inside the box, okay? That's what I should have done on this side. And I will fix that but I want you to get the general idea. Okay, so now let's take a piece of this narrow Bermuda Bay ribbon and just tie it in a bow up here. And then I'm probably gonna rob my scrunched paper from my previous sample to stuff it. I just, um, the yellow in here is summer star fruit, so I sliced up some thin slices and crinkled it up. And you can stuff your candy in there and then put the little topping. And there you have a fun little Easter basket or Easter box that you can put some treats in. Okay, so if you'll go over to my blog, inkandinspirations.com, and leave a comment under where the post where this video is, you can, uh, I'm going to choose one person to receive the supplies to put this box together. Okay, so head on over there and do that. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.